welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you ladies how to create your own flyers all right so the first thing you want to do is go on canva.com and once you go on canva.com it's going to look like this see it in va you click on that and it's going to come up this is going to be the front page all right so i am a little nervous doing this because this is the first time i'm actually sharing my screen so y'all gotta see with me okay so when you go up here you're going to see a couple of things you're going to see video facebook uh, post, flyer, so forth. Anyways, you want to go in there and find what you're looking for. So in this case, I am, I actually, I'm going to go do a video first. And then once I do the video, I think I'm going to go in for the flyer because I'm recording the screen. So I think I should, uh, do I go in for the video first or the flyer? Let me see. I'll go back to home and then we're going to go to flyer. Because we are creating a flyer and I am recording my screen. So it makes sense. All right. So you want to go on the flyer. And the first thing you once you go on there, you want to see like what size flyer you want. Right. So if you don't want a big, crazy flyer, you could do a four by five. Right. So you want to click on, on this blank spot right here. <laughs> and then you want to um, go up here and look for. Let me see. Okay, so this is a five by five by eight by five inches. You don't want that unless you just want a really big flyer. But um, so right now the flyer template is five by five. If you can always change the size of the flyer. Um, let me see. Anyways, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna choose one that that looks like a flyer you want, or you could just go ahead and create one from scratch. Right. And the one you want to create from scratch is going to be like a blank one. Right. So what you could do, you could do two things. You could click on one of them like this. Right. And go down here and that way it comes up and then you could just select and just delete the whole thing. Right. So once you delete it, it's going to have like a space there and you could just delete the whole entire thing till everything disappears. And then you could have a blank slate. Or you could just go in there and just click the option for a blank slate, right? So I'm not seeing the option right now. And this is my first time actually doing something like this on Canva. And I do not want the video to be messed up. So I'm just going in here, just doing my thing to so I can show y'all, okay? So here it is. Anyways, you just right click on your mouse and the option comes up for delete. And you just click on everything you want to click on. Make sure you right click on your mouse and then the delete option comes up. So let me see if I'm right click and then look for delete. Let me see. Is this not coming up? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff into this flyer. Okay, so it's almost blank. We just got two things left. Delete one and then we're going to delete the other. All right, so now we have a complete blank page. Now this down here, it zooms out and it zooms in, right? So you want to work with this according to like how big or small you can actually see, okay? Because I can't see that good. So anyways, for me, I like black and gold. So the template that I actually chose previously was this. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So you see how it is? It says beauty salon best professional hair stylist, right? So I like this and I want to use this for my flyer. So since I'm working with Jules Nails, that is my company name, I don't want beauty salon and hairstylist and all of this. I mean, I do do hair sometimes, but it's not my number one thing. And this is actually some nail flyers, right? Summertime is coming up and sometimes nails get slow in the summertime. I don't know because kids are out of school or what, but it does get slow in the summertime. So you want to have some flyers out and you want to go ahead and mass advertise, right? So you're going to click on the things that you don't want. So we don't want this. We don't want this, you know, and you're just clicking around to see exactly like, okay, what can I do? What can I take out? What can I put in? All right. So let's get rid of the beauty salon first. So since we're not a nail salon or beauty salon, we're just going to put you know, my name, right? So we'll, we'll put caps on and we'll just put J-E-W-E-L-Z-A-I-L-S. Now, I should let you guys know that I do have nails on and I have no idea why, but yes, it's making it very hard for me. But anyways, as you can see, it says Jules Nails and it's already looking good. And best professional hairstylist. No, we don't want that crap. 
So we're going to go in and we're going to just put some backspace on that and we're going to put best nail tech. So we'll put B-E-S-T nail. Okay. These nails are getting into my way. Like seriously, I don't know how you ladies do it, but I love it. <laughs> All right. So Jules nails, best nail tech. Okay. That looks good for a flyer, right? But with this, I want to say, let's increase it. So I clicked on here, or I could zoom in to see how big it looks when it's on the flyer. All right, well, I mean, that looks good, but I, I think I want it a little bit bigger. So you just go up here and click here, and you increase, right? Now that looks good. All right. So now for this, I really just want to, like, delete it. I want to delete it because I want multiple pictures. So I'll just delete that. And then I'm going to show you how to insert your own picture. So now you're going to go over here. And you're going to go on uploads and then you're going to go in here and you're going to put upload media right and once you click that it shows it goes right to your computer you go in your pictures and you just kind of choose whatever you want so this looks good right here so i upload that click on there press open and it's going to jump right here in my images see voila i told y'all all right so once it's in your images you click on it and you just drag it boom and we could have that big, beautiful picture, right? But if you notice, this flyer is kind of like black. So for this, I would like to remove the background or I would like to make this picture smaller. And as I said, I want to put multiple pictures. So all you got to do is just click on it and just drag it in. And then you could just move it to the side, just place it where you want to place it. Right now, I'm thinking I'm just going to place it like here. I don't know if I want to remove the background yet because mm, so, so. Right. If I did want to move the background, I would click on it and where it says edit image, I would go there and then I will click here. Once I go in there, it says BG remover. It means background remover. I will click on that. And as you can see, because it was already selected when I went to the image and then the BG remover, now it's removing the background. And it's going to take a little while, but not too long. You're going to see what it looks like. So if you put, if you remove the background, that's what it looks like now that looks good if we just want to leave the picture just like it is i kind of like that i kind of like that like it looks good i like that right but mm, let's see i mean when you're doing a flyer you want to show like multiple pictures or you could just keep it classy i don't know or maybe i could just use this as a bigger background and then put smaller ones i mean i kind of like how this looks but let's see the, removing the background actually was a good idea so but we want to put more stuff on the flyer, right? So let's just make this small. And then we'll go and we'll insert another one. So I'll just go over here. I already have these uploaded from previously from stuff I did. So I'm just going to randomly just select some stuff on here. And okay, this definitely the background needs to be removed because you can see there's a white fur. And all I'm doing, I'm just making sure once I select it, you see that line right there, selection line. I want to make sure that the pictures are the same size. All right, it looks good to me. And I'm just going over here. I'm just looking for any random nail pictures to just put on there. Okay, uh, this looks. This is going to be a pretty flyer, right? Remember, the, the goal is you want to put your best work, right? But you want to put different kinds of work because what if somebody don't like long nails? They might not call you because they might feel like, okay, that's all you do. All right, so once you put some pictures on there, it's already looking good. And you want to go down here. You want to put some kind of information on your business. So you want to put visit now. All right. You want to probably put your website in here. So all you got to do is highlight it, backspace, and then you put your website. My website is collections. Like, oof, that's a long name, .com. All right, so once we got jewelsprocollections.com, they know, okay, they can visit for your website. And you want to just put, you know, a little bit more information. Now, if you are in an office space or if you're in a, a salon or whatever, then you will put the address. You could put what's, what kind of services. It depends on you. For me, I want my flyer more simple. I will put the services, my phone number, and so forth, so forth. So right now, you want to insert some text, all right? So what you're going to do is go over here on Canva, and you're going to go to text. And then you could just choose any of these. All right. But right now, right now, these, these are just too much. I just need something simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go for the head in. 
and i'm going to click on that backspace and then i'm just going to put like um what i do right so let's say acrylic acrylic full set right and then I press enter and it will say like coffin shape or coffin nails and then we'll say enter freestyle freestyle full set all right so we just want to keep it simple so click at the end and we're going to bring that down and then we're going to click on here and we're just trying to like want to pull it up and you just want to make it smaller right so they know what you do now if all right there you go so you want to go in here and highlight this and then once you highlight it okay i have something spelled wrong do you see that i have grammarly on here so i'm going to click and say okay what i got okay so full set fullest full set so we'll do that and we'll click accept and full set we'll do that again click accept all right thank you grammarly love you all right so here we go now y'all just can't be doing this kind of stuff without grammarly because um y'all don't want to be spelling wrong words especially on your flyer all right so we just align it and then so basically you just kind of put what you do now you can go ahead and you can put the prices but right now for this flyer i am not putting any prices but the concept remains the same if you want to write on the flyer you would just go over here to text click off of that you will go over here to text then add this on here and then you just kind of move it the head into wherever you want it's really just like a text box right and you could just make it smaller that's it so if you wanted to put like pricing on there maybe okay let's let's put some price in right how could we put price in all right so all right so sometimes when you're in canva what i find out the the grammarly i don't know if that came with canva or that's just me because i have grammarly but sometimes i gotta make the box bigger to actually go in there because it, it will automatically go in grammarly all the time and aggravate me all right so then let's put like free you know like 50 dollars or whatever so we'll just put the amount in since we cleared it we'll put the amount in let's say 50 dollars. okay it's not coming out because i think it's in black so we want to click on white okay see yeah because sometimes you got to make sure the color so if you want to change the color of your text you go in here and then it opens up the box and then you just select whatever color you want all right, so we'll put $50, and so then we'll put the dollar sign. Makes more sense. Not 450 we want to put the dollar sign. All right, so you want to just miniaturize this, and then you want to bring it over. Now, if you notice, the 50 is too big, right? So then we would just have to make it smaller and then just kind of tag it over there and make sure it's, like, in the same line, and then voila right that could work fifty dollars right there and then say you wanted to add some more just click at the end press enter and then let's see coffin nails let's put 70. all right let's put the dollar sign so we're not like not putting symbols and stuff all right so 70 and then press enter and then freestyle let's say 100. okay we're still forgetting the dollar sign so you want to put the dollar sign so they know we're talking about a hundred dollars and not one dollar so you see how that is and then all you got to do right now is just try to align it and then you can have the prices right where you want them now i'm not a professional at this i'm just learning as i go but i did complete some flyers the other day and i just thought it would be good for me to show you guys all right so there you go so that's the prices so you got the pictures you got the name you know a little something about yourself so forth so forth and then you want to put your location and phone number right so like i said we're gonna add some more text so click on that again and then i would say put your location to the bottom you could put an address if you want to or you could just put your location right so let's see so let's put in here florida so let's put sunrise florida or pompano beach so alexa stop so we'll put Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach. All right. I think we, 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 okay, we're still in caps. So Pompano, Palm, Pompano Beach. 
and then you know your florida so you don't have to put like your address but somebody would like to know where you are located right so you would want to put that and then you know you could put pull it out just kind of do it however you want it right and you can make it smaller because you don't want it that big and crazy right so there you go so you got like pompano beach and then what am i forgetting phone number so we're using that. We're using this again. It's kind of like a text box. And then you're going to put your phone number. So I'm just going to make this a little bit wider. So I'm not like clicking unnecessary stuff. And then what I'll do, I'll put the PH, you know, just a short abbreviation. Because I'm just be lazy right now. So PH. And then you're going to put your phone number. So you want to put like, you know, your phone number is 789. Put a dash 889-1009. All right, that's too many numbers. Let me see. I can't even see what's going on. All right, that looks good. So you can leave your phone number big like this if you want to, you know. And then we could actually change it this instead of say visit now. You could put book now, just whatever you want. Like I said, this is yours. And this is something easy you could do. So you could put book now. So you got the price. You got what you do. You have the pictures, phone number, your website, your location. This is very, very simple. You can put a coupon if you want on the back. But we're not doing that today. So this is definitely how you make it. All you got to do now is go ahead and you got to save this. So in order for you to save in Canva, you have to click on the share button. And then when you go down, you click on that But I'm going to show you how to print this just in case you want to print it straight from Canva. So let me click out of this. You're going to go to share. And the first thing you need to do is actually download this and save it. But right now, I just want to show you this part. So you want to print your design. And when you click on here, it's going to give you the options like, OK, do you want to print business cards? Do you want to print posters, canvas? You want to look for flyers, right? And then it says resize your design. You're going to click on that. And you see how this flyer, this flyer looks huge, right? So you want to go ahead and resize this. But if this size is okay for you, whatever their standard size is, then you could just keep it. And you could go in here, it says standard paper. Um, so you could do standard paper, premium paper, or deluxe paper. Or you could choose a matte finish, gloss finish, uncoated finish. So for me, I just choose standard paper because I'm being cheap. The matte is okay because I got some cards before and they looked okay. So I'll keep that. And 50 copies, you want way more. So you want to go in here and I would say 200 copies is decent. You don't need too much flyers. Like 200 is decent, right? And that's $88. And all you got to do is just click continue and just send it to PayPal or your credit card information. And I think it takes like a week and then you're all set. Save this, it's already selected. You don't have to save none of this crop, crap right here. Crop marks and bleed, none of that. So just, just download. All right, so once you download, that, that's what it looks like. And if you click on here, you'll see what your flyer is actually gonna look like. And I mean, this this looks good. You know, it's not too much and it's already designed. All I had to do was just erase some stuff and I'm good. If you want to create your own flyer, this is something you could do. And definitely it's Ken Canva. It is really, really easy. So thank you for watching the Biz and Nails, Jules Dance, Black Girl Jules Dance, and all the other things. And like, share, and subscribe to this channel, all right? So there you go. Now you can make your own flyers and you ain't got to pay nobody but Canva, $88. All right, bye-bye.